Lee, a textbook away day performance. Sum it up for us. Uh, very professional, um, clean sheet, two goals. So, um, yeah, overall I thought we deserved a win and, and um, the lads deserve the credit that they get for, for another clean sheet and coming away to Middlesbrough is never easy and, and to get the three points the way we did, I think um, I'm really pleased for them. Yeah, two quick-fire goals in the space of three minutes. We've been guilty of not scoring at important times in the games in recent weeks, but we've done that today and it really takes the game away from Middlesbrough. Yeah, and, and, and especially the second one, I'm... I'm I have to say I'm really pleased for Scotty because he's, he's missed a few, you know, and and I had a chat with him on uh, yesterday, and it hurts him, you know, and but today he, he put himself in the right position again, and he he was brave enough to do that, and, and then he got his reward. So um, so especially I'm, I'm I'm really pleased for Scotty because it's difficult as a striker. There's so much pressure on you, know, and. And everyone relies on you to score the goals to win the game. So, um, but yeah, but again, overall, I think we, we looked solid, like defensively as well. Another clean sheet, so very good. Yeah, the first goal comes from a, a set piece. Jordan Graham just teases the Borough goalkeeper, and Mark Roberts has to still go and head it. Yeah, again, be brave because you've got a big six foot six goalkeeper coming at you. Um, that, that could be painful, so. Uh, when Jordan hit it, I thought it was a little bit floaty and I think, no, nah, the keeper's going to get that. But Robbo got there ahead of him and uh, thankfully it went in the back of the net. Seven clean sheets in 15 games now. Other than sheer hard work, what's that down to? Yeah, I'd say it's a, a togetherness and, and, and a will to win. Like that's, that's what you have to give every game. If, if you fight and compete, then, then you've got a good chance of, of doing that. So, um, again, the players... From start to finish, I thought we looked comfortable, um, but that, 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 that comes with hard work. You don't keep seven clean sheets without hard work first and foremost. And, and that's the one thing that I'll always demand is that, that you give everything every time you step on the pitch for this football team. And your players have managed the game particularly well out there. Two 0 can be a difficult scoreline to go and manage, still with a, a large portion of that second half still to play, but never really left the door ajar back there. No, again, I think the. Everyone played well on the day, but especially I'd, I'd say like the three centre halves, it just looked solid. It just whatever they threw at us, we just never felt like we was going to concede. And so yeah, I thought I thought we was very good from from start to finish, but we looked solid. Yeah, and being greedy again, we've got into good areas in wide positions. There's balls into the box that we haven't quite got on the end of, and it could be more. Again, but this is my job to keep pushing them and pushing them and trying to improve in certain areas and that's what we're doing. If you think from when I came through the door to, to where they are now as, as, as a group, that they're improving all the time. So, like I've said, it don't just happen overnight, I've said that and, and it takes time, but if we can just take care a little bit better and, and make that final decision, I think in the first half, guards slip. Scotty in, he's, he's in one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper and he chooses the wrong pass. But the human beings, they're going to make that split-second decisions at times. But if we can just tidy up on them small details, then, then it'll be even more comfortable for us, I think. Yeah. Fantastic week for Riley McGree as well. Comes into the side in recent weeks, scores you the winning goal against Swansea. And again today, it's one hell of a shift out there. Yeah, again, his he's work rate for the team is, is excellent. So him in front of... The, the, the other two lads and um, just brings a bit of calmness on the ball. I'd like him, if I'm a ultra picky, to play a little bit quicker at times. I think he'd take three, four touches and, and he could play one and two touch. So, um, but overall, I thought he was excellent. He, he didn't really give the ball away and, uh, and, and worked really hard for the team. Back to back wins, four goals from four different scorers. Does it feel like you're back on track now? Yeah, but nothing's a given in this league. Like we've, we've shown that before. The first five games we was excellent, and then the next six games, and we couldn't pick anything, any points up. We couldn't score a goal, and it's, it's relentless and ruthless this league. So we have to do the basics right, and if we do that, then we've always going to have a chance, and, and that's what we've tidied up of late. So um, I think like three of the last four games have had clean sheets. We're always going to create chances, so so yeah. If we can carry on doing that, then um, then we'll be okay.
Yeah. Very finally, just a bit of injury news. How's Tahith Chong and Christian Pedersen had to come off there? How's he doing? Yeah, uh, Chongy, he he made a five-yard pass in training yesterday with no one near him and and he just felt his groin a bit. So he's he's got to go for a scan today and and, and we'll get the results later on and hopefully it's not too anything too serious and then um, and then Christian just. It's tough, it's up, down, up, down, that wing-back position, and he just felt his hamstring a little bit. So, again, we'll have to assess him tomorrow. We're in tomorrow, game Tuesday, so we'll assess him tomorrow and, and see how he is. Thanks as always, Lee. Madam. Cheers. Thank you.